can't happen to me. That's what you said, wasn't it, Bill? But it can and just did, and you're not quite sure why. Not too many minutes ago, that young woman and her child were happy and healthy. Now their young bodies are crushed and racked with pain. Maybe they'll live and maybe they'll die. But one thing's sure, the next few minutes, hours or maybe days, their lives will hang in the balance. And you'll have to live out those minutes, hours and days, knowing you were responsible. The police will measure out the skid marks, determine where you applied the brakes, give you a sobriety test, and it will all go into a report that will be reviewed in court. Maybe you'll be found guilty. Maybe you won't. But you'll never outlive the memory of waiting, waiting to find out if the mother and daughter will live or die. Then the police are at you with questions. Where had you been? Where had, had you been, you been drinking? Where had you Would been? You submit Where had to you a been? Where had you been? Sure, why not? Of course you're not drunk. Not in the common sense of the word, but your driving ability was measurably impaired. How could it be? You feel fine. But what you didn't know was that it only takes a few beers to take the keen edge off your driving performance and slow your reaction time. When ethyl alcohol, which is the foundation of the